Okay, so we are live with our 172 certified PMP. first PMP of 2022. Mr. Muhammad Bilal, Mr. Ahmed, Karthik, so Mr. Shahid Iqbal, Gajindra, Rohit, Aditi, Mr. Ishtia, Shubhashesh, Nadeem. If you want to do PMP, then you have to contact with Amir Ali. This is the guarantee that he will support you for PMP. Farhan, Inklaab, Ahmed, Sundela. Uh, trust on your mentor. You don't need to trust on yourself. Whatever you say, uh, follow that right. Umar, Asha, Subhandana, Mr. Wasim, Shaji, Saswati. I mean, especially after the training, your follow-ups are very strong follow-ups that helped me to get it done within a month. Uh, I didn't study the, any book. I just followed your instruction and the material which you provided and your video. Sashwani. Christine. You should join Amir Ali and he will definitely in touch with you until you are successful. My 150th certified PMP in 2022. You can say that it was literally, literally not possible because the way you have kept me pushing and kept following up on all the milestones and as per the plan, the way it is designed, it's it's excellent. So it's it's really a big day for me, and uh, I'm really, really thankful to you. So that was past 150 certified PMP. We have passed that goal. Now we have 172 certified PMP. And I would say a very special person to me. He joined in batch five. And one of my ex-certified PMP is Tariq, uh, who, share, who shared his, my contact with him. He contacted me through LinkedIn and he finally joined in batch five. He did PMP and he cleared in one month. So without further delay, or certified PMP from Oman, Ali Al Balushi. Ali. Congratulations on clearing PMP with such a good yeah. score. How do you feel? I'm really excited. Uh, it's a mixture of feelings, to be honest, but uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. It's a nice feeling after doing it. It's a, it's a nice feeling that you finally did it. So very yeah. straightforward, the question number one. How was the exam? Wow. Um, again, now in terms of exam, it is challenging, to be honest, especially the mental part of it. You need to be ready. You need to really, you know, relax before going there. I think deep breathing, we were talking about Amr yesterday. So I did that multiple times during the exam. I really utilized my breaks because the, the there were point of time, you know, where I was feeling like I'm really behind the time and I need to really rush and it's too much. But uh, yeah, I was able to concentrate, take deep breathing and take my breaks and handle I did it on time. That was really nice because I remember I left with a few seconds before closing. So I, oh. I didn't put any answers, you know, randomly. I was reading and then properly answering them. Okay. 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 So how did you manage time? 80, 75, 75? Uh, yes, I did the same as you told me. Uh, although I was at a point of time thinking like, let's take more time in the first half than I can make up later on. But then I remember you said stick to the time. So I did that and alhamdulillah, I was able to finish it. Okay. How many drags and drops are there? Uh, if I remember correctly, I think I had five to eight drag and drop. And, and uh, mm -hmm. the drag and drop we did, were they near to that? Um, I will, I don't think so. But again, the concept, I think the practice made us realize how we can, uh, you know, complete these type of questions. Um, and But again, nothing similar was there, to be honest. But yeah, the concept is same. If you know how to do it, if you do it properly, you will get it. Okay. So going back again to the drag and drop, I want to go that into deep. So yeah. drag and drop questions were how many options? Like four options because I had a feedback. There were even 10, 10 options in the questions. So yeah. what was about you? I think I got lucky because the maximum I saw, it was around six, uh, nothing more than that. And mm -hmm. some of them were, you know, at least for me, were straightforward, but other were really challenging. Um, so yeah, it, it depends, you know, I'm not sure how is your luck, but if you practice well, the drag and drops, if you know how to manage your time competing those drag and drops, uh, you can do it. So we did discuss that uh, if the time was running, we will do drag and drop in the end. Did you get that chance or you do it in the, in the flow? To be honest, because I told you before going to the exam that I'm enjoying drag and drops. So for me, it was like something fun, something challenging. So I, rather than keeping them till the end, I were just closing them as I was seeing them. Okay. So yeah. uh, how many lines of questions were there? Three-liner, four-liner, five, mostly? Yeah. 
So now I, I went with the assumption that I will see a lot of long, long questions. And I was, to a certain extent, you know, nervous that how I will deal with such long questions with a very limited time. But I think there was a good variety of questions, uh, ranging from four lines to, I think, I believe one, one and a half line was there as well. So maybe I got lucky, but the questions were not that long, you know. So you can't expect anything. But for me, it was a variety of questions. I, have, I had everything in the exam. You had everything in the exam. Did you have critical path method? Critical path. There was one of the, I believe, in the um, answers, but I, I cannot remember any questions asking about critical path. Any formula questions where you have to use, as you asked, will there be a calculator? I told you there is a calculator in a software. So you uh, yeah. have to use a calculator or not? No. I, although in the demo, I was just looking at it and you know figuring it out, but I, I didn't have to use it, to be honest. You, you were like, Never. even. The other mm. ask you that will there be a calculator and things like that, but yeah. so yeah, the rhythm remains the same. So the exam was more dominant towards which area? People, uh, stakeholder communication, team, risk, which area was more dominant in the exam? Well, I think, uh, Amar, it was like a good mixture of all, everything. Um, I saw questions from all the areas. And especially the ones you were, you know, focusing on when it's come to the people, when it's come to the stakeholders, communications. Um, uh, for me, I think everything was there, but, you know, they were not focusing on calculations. At least this is what I can confirm. Mm -hmm. So there was, uh, there was no questions particularly. Like one, as we were having a month ago, one area was predominant. Like yeah. team was uh, dominating the exam. It's not anymore, right? No, no, that wasn't there, alhamdulillah that that was not there every single domain has there to play the role and every single domain is working in the context and you know need to know all those things yeah exactly okay so let's uh, let's think about this thing so you did 50 50 question a lot of question mm -hmm. when now you calculate the question how many you did you will be smiling oh yeah. i did many question but the kanban helped that you yeah. only see what you can do so 50 50 questions you did then you did 60 60 question of people process and random then exactly. you did my atp questions then you did uh, full mock questions mm -hmm. now since you have given the exam today taking that all of that in perspective what do mm -hmm. you think which are the most important questions um i think everything was is important but you know the good thing was it was taking us gradually from uh, 60 questions till more than that until we reached to 180 full mock mock questions that made us really know how to manage ourselves and do not panic. I believe if you gave us the 180 question from day one, we wouldn't be able to do it, or at least we would be in, you know, feeling that this is really challenging. So that mm -hmm. moving gradually really helped. And also mm -hmm. attending the coaching calls, you know, with other colleagues and seeing how you are um, solving them questions, what are the techniques, how to use them, the instant feedback that, that we were getting, those really helped a lot. Okay. So for the coaching call, everyone who is watching, we have a coaching call today live at YouTube at 8 p.m. Dubai time, UA time, Oman time, it's the same time. Mm -hmm. So do join us. Okay. So keeping that in the context, how important you think now was lesson learned, doing the lesson learns for the entire questions? How important yeah, that? that's that's really important. To be honest, at a point of time in the exam, I was also, you know, regretting that I, why I didn't did that more and more, why I didn't went back to those again and, you know, just to see what I was learning from the questions. That's really important because, again, you will find same concepts, you know, uh, certain things if you pay enough attention during the lesson learn, that will really make your life easy, you know, answering those questions in exam because understanding the question is the key. If you remember today, you will forget tomorrow. But if you understand really how you did it, that will really make your life easy during the exam or being a project manager at work. So you are getting a lot of congratulations from Shah Faisal, from Batch 6, Surinder, from Batch 2. Uh, he's a certified PMP, Azim, certified PMP, saying congratulations. I hope communication. Last year, yeah. Batch 1, Umair is saying congratulations. So Shah Faisal, if exam was tough as before in June. Now he just cleared the exam. He can tell. He can tell you exam was tough today or not. Or he <laughs> cannot tell that exam was tough in June or not. Yeah, exactly. So, if you say it, let's rate the exam from 1 to mm. 10. Mm. If you rate the exam from 1, 1 being very difficult, uh, very easy, and 10 mm. being extremely hard, uh, what, how would you rate your exam? How hard it was? Mm. Uh, now, if you ask this question during the exam, I would give you, you know, 9 or 10. But now, just I finished that, so I can say it is a challenging exam, but it's not like you cannot do it. So maybe 7, 7.5. 
But the more you work hard, the more you will rate it less. If, if I did even better, you know, in preparation, I would rate it also three maybe or two. It all depends mm -hmm. on your preparation. It's not the mm -hmm. exam. It's how you approach the exam. Yeah. You remind me of a line that, have you watched the movie Top Gun Maverick? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says that it's not the pilot. It's not the plane. It's the plane pilot. It's a pilot. <laughs> so you put it in the that context. Exactly. Okay. So, congratulations from Sdar, uh, Caroline, back, saying congratulations, Chimze, uh, say congratulations. Okay, so let's go into a little bit more detail of yep. the exam. So you reached the exam. Uh, your exam was very early, 8, 8 a.m., right? Yeah, I'm an early person. I, I always prefer to start early. No, that's very good. That's yeah. that's one of the most important things we learn in emotional intelligence is mm. self-awareness. So whenever exactly. I, I give exam, I try to book it in the later half. After mm. one, you know, I'm a late. Uh, I, I have noticed that. Yeah, yeah I don't sleep. Yeah. So I always try to do after lunch because I know mm. my mind start working at that time. I still remember today I woke up at 7 a.m. My mother came down from the, she lives at the top floor. She said, why you wake up so early? What happened? But I don't know. I just wake up. And then I slept back after two hours. So mm. I'm a night person. So knowing yourself mm. and how you can work, that's a very exactly. important thing. Now yeah. going back to the exam and mm -hmm. working in that first domain, second domain, first part, mm -hmm. second part, and third part. Which yes. part are more challenging? I know the first part you have that kind of nervousness. But yes. putting that aside, which part was more challenging? I think for me, all if I, we just put the nervousness aside, for me, all of them were equally uh, the same. Maybe the last part to a certain extent was more straightforward for me. Um, and the first two parts were equally the same, but just putting the nervous, nervousing part again in. So the first part was really challenging. First part was really challenging. You are getting yeah. in. Guys, if you have any question, this guy just cleared PM a few hours back. And if you have any question, you can ask and we will try to answer those questions. Okay. Yeah. So taking the back in the context. So mm -hmm. time management in PM is one of the critical thing. Uh, exactly. one of one or two students uh, shared that with me what they did like after 20 questions they were looking at the clock after 30 questions mm. they were looking at the clock and one or two students who were very nervous they said well, we were all the time looking at the clock and it made us more nervous how did you manage that thing yeah now again it, the experience might be different for everyone everyone will approach it in, in their own way but for me i was ignoring the clock at the beginning but then i realized i'm really late to complete my first 60 questions so then i kept it as a habit two three questions i'm looking at the time two three questions i'm looking at the time because sometimes i get excited there's a question i really want to solve it solve it from the first time then i'm spending one minute or two minutes on it where i should do it in seconds so um, for me i was you know after the question number maybe 30 i started looking at the after each few questions, I started looking at the uh, clock just to show that I am moving toward the right direction. What do you recommend for the future aspirants? Like uh, what would be the 10 minute dur duration? They should look after 10 minutes, five minutes or two questions. What do you recommend from them? Um, I think, um, yeah, 10 minutes would be reasonable. Every 10 minutes, you should look at the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the counter there. But also just know the break breakup of the uh, times that you are having. You know, um, I think Amir, we did that yesterday. Every 60 questions, how much you should spend. Then also within the 60, you can break it up more. You know, just to ensure that you are focused and you are you know where you are heading. And also it's a hint. You know, they gave me a scrap paper, so I was writing on it, like uh, on which minute exactly I should uh, stop or at which minute I should know that I'm left with only five minutes. This is something I did. But if you are good in remembering numbers or you know. Timing, you can keep it in your mind, but just be careful. Time management is the key. Time management, there is no doubt into that. If you can manage the time and you can master the concept, there is nothing else that is left in the PMP exam. Time management is always the mo one of the most fundamental thing that gets into the PMP exam. Okay, so you have just cleared the exam. What else advice I would say, uh, one or two minute advice you will share with the people who are appearing. Let me remove myself from the screen and you share your advice. If you yeah. are a trainer or if you are uh, coaching every person who are going to give the exam, what one or two minute advice or what and two advice you will give to people? I'm removing myself from the screen. Sure. So I think as usual, you know, it's, you said it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So you should maintain consistency. Um, you should really work hard. Um, nothing comes easy in this life. Uh, if you want to become a certified project manager, you can do that. It's not really challenging. 
Uh, maybe for some, it might be challenging to different reason. I'm not sure what are those. But if you really put a lot of effort, if you spend enough time, if you dedicate um, you know, enough duration each day to complete this, I believe me, you can do it in maybe less than two weeks. I believe in our batch, we had one of our colleagues did it in two weeks. So that's possible. This is my advice. And number two, do not let any fear you know, uh, to control you before going to the exam. Uh, I remember I had a chat with Amar, with some other colleagues asking for some tips. And they were all calming me down. And luckily, when I went to the exam center, the guy who was responsible there, he was also a nice person. He brought some coffee. He chatted with me like for a few minutes. So be relaxed, because if you go there nervous, you will mess it up. Even if you know all the answers, you will mess it up. Now, during the exam itself, you might start feeling that it's, it's really challenging, or I cannot answer these questions, or I'm really lagging behind. Uh, do deep breathing. That will really help. Uh, if it's required to take one or two minute break just to, you know, get back to yourself, do that. I highly recommend taking those breaks. Those will really help you. Uh, in our test center, we had the opportunity to grab a cup of coffee. So for me, that was a luxury. Um, I had to run to my car and bring some, you know, change. And I had my cup of coffee. Then I jumped into the exam. So these are some of the advices. And uh, I think if you work hard, you will get it. All of us can get it. It's not that challenging. That That's was, it from my side. That was beautiful. And I, I kind of a feeling jealous now. I never had the luxury to get a coffee in between. I do recommend get a water bottle. And even mm -hmm. I remember when I was giving the ACP exam, it was hard for me to get that water bottle. I said, no, it's not allowed. But I never had uh, heard this thing. Like, I should give the next exam in Muscat. So I mm -hmm. give exam in Bahrain, in UAE, in Pakistan, in, uh, in other areas. But I never had that opportunity. But that was yeah. a great. Because it's, it's your break. Uh, if you can, if there is a canteen, you can definitely grab it. But don't take yeah. it for granted. Be ready. If you go there, there is no coffee. It's not my fault. <laughs> But for all the people who are coffee or tea drinker, remember it's 10 minutes. The break exactly. is 10 minutes. As soon as the 10 minutes pass, the time will be cutting from your, your pocket. So that time, every single minute was very precious. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Ali, uh, how would you now, since you remember we did the net promoter score, you did give a good score. So how mm -hmm. would you say the entire batch was structured I know that a uh, few people cleared in two, two weeks, three weeks. Now you cleared in one month. So how would you rate the batch and what other improvements you would say that we can implement to make it the journey more easy for the students? Um, actually, I cannot think about anything in specific, but I really enjoyed doing this with a batch. Uh, we were pushing it, each other and I, I'm having Ali Ajmi with me from, you know, we're working together. We are colleagues. So also at work, we are pushing ourselves and checking with ourselves. Then you are checking with us. Then our colleagues attending the coaching calls and we can we are seeing them passing and celebrating. That's really nice. And during the call, the calls or sorry, the, the training itself, we had a lot of good argument. We, we learned a lot of things from each other. So I think overall it was a nice uh, experience. I cannot think about more things to add, but maybe while the technology is advancing, new things will definitely come up by the time. As we are exploring further things, like now the 50-50 question, I put it on a simulator. Now instead of PDF, I will give the option both those things are there. And of course, technology will be evolving and more things will be coming there. Okay. Yeah. How was follow-up system? How would you rate my follow-up system? Yeah, I think that was nice. And the good thing, you know, you also understood what are our other commitments as well. Yes, you were pushing, but whenever we used to give you a valid justification why I'm taking longer, uh, you were understanding, but still you were pushing us to go for it. Do not, you know, uh, procrastinate more. And, and that really uh, encouraged us to move forward and close this uh, within a very, I, I, I feel it's a good timing because I was committed to three things. One of them is the PMP. So for me, one month, it's, it's really uh, something challenging. Yes, I had to sacrifice a lot of things. I had to reduce my time with friend. I didn't visit my family for a long time. But alhamdulillah, I passed. Now I can do whatever I want. I can go gym on a daily basis. <laughs> I would say this is the best timing to clear. So Ali is in Oman and the holidays are starting like after one day. So he has the entire Eid free of mind. I had a student, he wanted to give the exam like after Eid and he's prepared. I said, why, why you want to have that tension in your mind on Eid days? Enjoy the Eid. So you have that luxury that the students don't have. So Caroline, my batch six student is asking, how long did he prepare before sitting for the exam? So I guess you can answer that. How long you took? Yeah, I think I took less than a month, uh, but I believe it can be done even in less than that. It all depends on how many hours you spent on a daily basis, which Amar made it very clear from day one. You know, if you put eight hours a day, maybe you can do it in a week. 
and, yeah. and it's all yeah, yeah. If, yeah, if you yeah. procrastinate, it will take even a year, you know, it can take for life. You will never do it. Yeah, we, know, we know one of us friend, it took a year, but he actually yeah. did in seven days. You know, uh, I did record it, Tarek Jani, if you had a time mm -hmm. to watch, we procrastinated for a year. And then he actually did in one, one week. So it's all depend how many hours yeah. you put in. Caroline, the pace you are going, I'm sure in the month of July, you will be certified. Thank you very yeah. much, Ali. Thank you very much yeah. for joining. And Amr, I want to add a few more things very quickly just Good. to benefit all my colleagues here. Uh, first of all, it's a feedback for you, Amr. Thank you for the Udemy questions. Those were really nice. This, those were nice simulator, you know, uh, putting us in the exam context. Um, after that, when I joined the uh, exam center today, um, I was surprised that you can also, you know, uh, strike through the questions or sorry, the answers, which you think you should not be considering. That was a feature which I was never thinking about. Uh, I think in Cano model, this is a delighter, which, which really made my life easy. Also, there is a highlighter. Uh, you can highlight uh, the keywords. And uh, in addition, I think there was a, a feature you can put some comments, but I have never used that. So for me, it was something really um, does matter. I didn't knew about it. I was really worried that whether they will give me scrap papers or not. But uh, I was surprised that uh, you can also use the system itself to strike through comments, or you can highlight the keywords. So that's really? there, and that will really make yeah. your life easy. I will add that in my last day call because I didn't know that. I guess I missed it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but I did not know the third thing. What was the third thing? Uh, you can put comment, comment to everyone. Yeah, I, I didn't try that actually. Um, I, I didn't saw it or I, I didn't wasted my time to look at it. I, I don't recommend anyone putting comment. It's really the, the timeline is very challenging. I, I never knew that thing because yeah. you're the first one. Regarding the highlighter and strike true features, uh, yes, that is basically we are building our simulator on the separate platform than Udemy. So on that, I will I'm gonna add the striker and highlight. But, but I will add that thing also in my uh, last day material and the last day mm -hmm. call that you can actually strike out like we are doing in the coaching call. I am striking yes. and highlighting the things so that yes, yeah, that you can do. You know, Mm. And I'm bringing this up because when I did your Udemy questions, I was bringing a paper and pen and just doing it on a paper just to know where I strike through or not. But yeah. then in the system, it was much easier, you know, and that made my life easy for a lot of questions I answered. Yeah. So Puneet is asking, when did you book your exam? I guess it was two days back. Yeah, like two, three days back. And I was just waiting for the green light from Amr. So he told me that you cannot go unless I give you the green light. I, I haven't given the green light to you. I remember still. You said... I want to give it before ETH, and this mm -hmm. is the only date. What should I do? I checked your scorecard. I did Monte Carlo analysis on mm -hmm. you, and the result was like 83% on the Monte yeah. Carlo analysis. Yeah, go for it. And then you book the exam. So exactly. Kuni, you can actually, depending upon your preparation, and this is very important for everyone. If you want to give exam in center, which I highly recommend, that go and give exam in the center. If you go and give exam in the center, you have actually... It depends from area to area how many centers are there in like in Oman there are only two to three centers available and only this date was available today the all the centers will be closed if you are in India Puneet so in India in Bangalore there are multiple three centers and etc etc it all depends in which area you are you can easily book in that thing okay so thank you Aftab thank you very much for joining Usman my co-facilitator He's saying congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Ali Al Balushi, for joining our program, for trusting us in this journey. And I will be looking forward to help the other Ali and make him certified very, very soon. So, yes, guys, sir. I hope you have learned something from this session. Just be reminded at 8 p.m. Dubai time, that is almost four hours from now, we will be live with live question answer session. We will solve 10 PMP question. And one more student is giving exam today. Maybe I'll record her journey also. And Ninkanju, who cleared PMP a few days back, he also cleared. He was on trip. It was interesting. The day Ninkanju cleared, I, I was on holidays. When I came back, he went on holidays. So I am unable to record his journey so far. But maybe we'll record it his also. Thank you very much, Ali. Thank you, Thank you. for joining us. And uh, best of luck for your future end up. Thank you. I would not been able to clear the exam if Amir Ali would have come. I would have not been. I did not believe that I would be able to clear my PMP within a month. <laughs> I don't know what to say actually. Like I'm kind of like really yes, I got my results and I was above target in all three categories. Wow.